conquering the passive voice in present continuous tense. Hello everyone! Today, we're diving deep into the English language by learning about active and passive voices in present continuous tense. Specifically, we will focus on how to convert sentences from active voice to passive voice. So, let's get started. The first step in converting an active voice sentence to a passive voice one is understanding the difference between the two. In an active voice sentence, the subject performs the action, while in a passive voice sentence, the subject receives the action. For example, in the active sentence, she is eating an apple, she is the subject, is eating, is the verb in present continuous tense, and an apple is the object. If we want to turn this into a passive sentence, it would become, an apple is being eaten by her. Here, the object, an apple, has become the subject of the sentence. To form the passive voice in present continuous tense, we follow this structure. Subject plus to be, am, is, are, plus being plus past participle plus by plus agent. Let's break down this formula. Subject. This is what the sentence is about, and in the passive voice, it's usually the object in the active voice sentence. To be, am, is, are. We use this to denote the present continuous tense. Being. This is a constant part of passive voice in present continuous tense. Past participle. This is the third form of the verb, like, eaten, for, eat. By. This is a preposition we use to introduce the agent. Agent. This is who or what is performing the action. Now that we've got the formula, let's use it to convert active sentences into passive ones in present continuous tense. Active. The cat is chasing the mouse. Passive. The mouse is being chased by the cat. Here, the cat is the agent and the mouse is the subject in the passive sentence. We have also changed the verb is chasing to is being chased. Remember, not every active voice sentence needs to be or should be converted into passive voice. We use the passive voice to emphasize the object of the action or when we don't know or it's not important who performs the action. And there you have it. That's how you convert sentences from active to passive voice in present continuous tense. I hope you find this video helpful in mastering English grammar. Remember, the key is practice. So, keep practicing, and soon enough, it'll become second nature. Until next time, happy learning!